and any of you that knows me or have known me for very long at all, I don't believe everything everybody tells me. So you dust my beans with powder sugar and you tell me it's going to take care of the mites. Well, I'm going to do an ether roll before and then next week I'm going to do another ether roll and I'm going to find out if the mite count has dropped out. Sounds fair enough, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you know, we, we can dust these bees and I appreciate the free powdered sugar, but that's right. <laughs> the bees like that. yeah. That's right. I saw a smoke. Okay. All I gotta try to make sure is I is I don't euthanize my queen. <laughs> That's right. Oh wow. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> You're just trying to find a frame with a bunch of them on it, so you can take them <laughs> off. Yeah, I was trying to find a frame that had uh, had something on it rather than just bees. And just yeah, just leave it on the ground. I just need to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One cup of bees and uh, what? One teaspoon of ether <laughs> and uh, a and pinch a of song. a uh, pinch of paprika. A pinch of paprika. <laughs> and a soup song of something else. <laughs> Oh man, and I was thinking you were gonna like soak a sponge and throw it in there. Instead, you just make a little pool. Okay, so now we get to dust an aggressive hive. <laughs> Jeez. Jason, do you, you want to put a shim in between the boxes? When I, yes, when we lift it up, you want to do it first, you mean? It's up to yeah, you. That's a good it's idea. Your, Let's do that. It's your rodeo, do that. Yeah, but it's not his Bronco. Thanks for holding it. I should have told you I was going to get it. I expected it. Oh, by the way. Okay. I'm glad I looked over here. Yeah, you were. My end's good. In? Alright. Okay, we're going to go. Uh, hey, Gary, we're going to need the screen off the front of this. Maybe I'll go ahead and do this one a while, huh? You want to take the screen off or you want to take a picture? Take the what? You want to take the screen off or you want to take a picture? Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm always happy to tear Gary's stuff up. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, he can fix it so easy. That's the thing. Covering the whole bottom, we're just kind of going just the checkerboard to where you move it side to side and then push it back a little more. And it's the best that it's going to do from the underside when you're using one of these things, which I'm not really convinced it's the greatest. But we're going to we're doing the underside of both boxes first. Then we're then I just have a sifter that will come down on the top. And I'm thinking that the stuff that's laying on top of the frames, we just use a bee brush to. <laughs> Drop down Are you going to yeah. blow down on this bottom? Oh, yeah, 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 we could. It's a good then idea. you wouldn't have to lift yeah, this up. Blowing well out the other side. 
and once all some bees come with it. No bite. I the thought is also that I when the bees clean each other the off, they cannot bite them. Well, so I would think at minimum after you do drain. this, it would be interesting yeah. to put yeah, a sticky yeah, board or something it. down in the bottom put of the hive. At least go down in there. Yeah. If you have a screen bottom board, they say it's better, they just fall right through. But if you want to catch them and count them, which I would plan to do, it might be better. You got a board, a sticky board on there? Uh, yeah, but I, 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 yeah, I do. <laughs> See what I, what I was thinking. Get a bee brush and oh, knock yeah. that. You down got a bee brush somewhere, Gary? Yeah. Let's do that. Because when I've actually watched the various videos on the internet, they're just shaking this stuff out of a can on the top. They take off the boxes, shake it on the top, and let it just fall down through the hive. So how often you have to do this? Uh, you'll do it this time, you'll do it again in two weeks, and then again in another two weeks before winter. So the idea is three treatments every two weeks, or one and a half weeks, whatever suits you really. Because, it, you know, they're, they're cleaning it off each other, they like it. Does you it do have this, any? you can have uh, honey supers on and do this, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, I, I would suspect well, it's I a hope. good treatment any time and it's <laughs> huh? organic for friendly, friendly that, for Jim. That super, they're, they're just starting to pull it too. I, you know, I doubt if they make you it. You know, but. one thing I always often wondered about the mite strips that people put in, you're not supposed to do it when you got supers on, and I understand that. But if they get the chemical in the hive, and let's say it gets in the honey, then you put your super on, then they decide they want to move the honey, they pull it upstairs, put it in the super, you're still getting it on your yeah. table. Look at you all know? the white bees flying around. Yeah! Yeah, you're, you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, I but read on the internet that you're going to you move them blocks flying. too. Right? Oh, and hand, right. hand, hand uh, Gary the bee brush. I'm not as good at this. Right? There you go, not just brushing it. Okay. Does it remove mites from yellow jackets? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to put this box in heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop, oh, come on, come on, stand there and hold it. See that yeah, right, right, bees right, falling right. out of there. There were only ten frames of honey in there. That's true. That's Gary it. held it for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna shake this around a little bit. Then we're going to take it in and pour it through a number eight screen that'll stop the bees from going through. Mm -hmm. That'll let the mites that, that release from the bees go on through. And yeah. then those will be stopped at, uh, on a white cloth so we'll be able to see, uh, do, a, do a real accurate mite count. I see. We're going to pour the alcohol off. Okay, that's what And then meant. head the bees on the screen. Okay. Okay. And then we, you know, Moved them around a little bit. And then we're Jim <laughs> And yeah, then Joe was shaking around a little bit off the table, but <laughs> there might be that's one okay. There. <laughs> down. And then shake. I see. Are you still filming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, I'm gonna have to splice this back to order. Yeah, you'll do fine. <laughs> we're doing the Okay. Oh, the dryer, they get to better pour into yeah. the jar. <laughs> so no additional new mites. And would they fall right off pretty easily? I mean, the idea is to knock them off with the screen, right? Well, with the, right. With the screen and the alcohol. You know, by slushing them around <coughs> in the jar. I'm just wondering if, how many mites would stick to the bees. Or would they? I don't there know. There some in there. That would be, but the point of it is, is you're, you're, you're just trying to get a relative idea. You're not trying to... You'll not get every, but if you do this consistently, you should be able to tell if you got 30 or 40 mites here and you have two mites here. Right. That's a order of magnitude right. difference, so you ought yeah. to be able to figure it out. Better, better do something, maybe. Yeah. In, uh, in our apiary, if we get a mite count that's 100, 100 dropped on a sticky board in a, uh, 
three day, three days or two, two, and then two days. Cindy knows because Cindy does our mic counts. I scrape and she counts, but um, that's when we decide to take action. And we'll either like this time of year instead of trying to clean this time of year, we might just blow the tobacco smoke. And we might try Jason's. Um, but the thing that, that I I don't know. We have to talk to somebody else around here besides just us. I don't recommend treating. I, I consider the sugar dusting a treatment. And but I would say I wouldn't treat unless my mic count told me to. I wouldn't treat. Tablespoon. I don't know exactly <laughs> what the mic count has to be before it uh, no out of control. But I know I'm way, 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 way. Under that. Way under that. Say, 